Hey, what's up? It's me, Phil. And today I'm going to show you how to do GameCube BIOS corruptions. When you download Dolphin in the RTC launcher, uh, you'll notice that when you start a game, you're not going to get the uh, GameCube BIOS uh, to, stop, to start. And there's a reason for that. It's because Dolphin doesn't actually need the BIOS to run. Dolphin is able to just start the game. So when you start a game, it's just going to start. It, no, no little funny purple cube dropping down. If you go in the config options in the, the GameCube tab, you'll see that the skip main menu, which is what you want to uncheck, is grayed out because it's missing the files. So I'm going to close the config menu and close RTC, which will also close Dolphin. What you're going to want to do is go in the Dolphin folder by right-clicking on it and doing Open Folder. You're going to want to go in the Sys folder in GC and make a new folder called USA. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm making a USA folder is because I'm going to use the uh, USA version of the BIOS. It needs to be called IPL.bin, that's important. If you've dumped your, uh, your BIOS file, you need to call it like that. That's what it needs to be recognized. You're gonna drop it there. Then you're gonna restart your Dolphin. Once your Dolphin is uh, restarted, you can go to config, and now you can uncheck the skip main menu. Now when you start a game, it will actually do the GameCube intro. There you go. Now, before corrupting the thing, you need to make a save state. And this is a little bit tricky, but if you know how to do it, simple. What you need to do is to prepare your glitch harvester for making a save state. And you need to drop in uh, a game, any game. It just You just need to start a game so that the GameCube intro plays out. And you, you'll want to click on save as soon as the memory domains appear in RTC. Because you, you cannot create a save state before the game is loaded. And if you create a save state, too late, then the animation has already started. So we're gonna drop it in, and as soon as the memory domains appear, I'm clicking on save, and I've got my save state. So now when I press load, I got my thing. I can just take the vector engine and go at it. I killed it. Well, you get the idea. That's that's uh, that's how you you're gonna wanna create your setup for it. Uh, there's a there's a bunch of lists that you can use in um, in RTC that come with RTC called the Dolphin lists. You might want to use uh, something like this to break uh, the code and get uh, funny noises or get the emulator to crash. That's up to you. <laughs> Might take some time to get some, oof, <laughs> to get some results. But at least you've got the setup nailed down. So have fun corrupting. Have a nice day.